Hi, um, this is just a quick observation. Um, I'm struggling to get into trade, and this trade here at 8 a.m. happened at 8 o'clock this morning, and I missed it. Um, and it was a great trade. I mean, it's it's a huge move. It's three times R into H4 supply. And I was just looking at all these levels on the 30-minute chart, which were really confusing. Um, on the daily chart, clearly, your yen is trending down. On the four hour charts, same thing again, clearly trending down. And on the 30 minutes, we've got to get this mess. Um, and to me, the best trades here are 10 a.m. and 8 a.m. And the reason being is a part of me was first considering were they the best because they were happening around the best time. Sort of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. are going to be times when the Euro European session and London open and you're going to get the most amount of um, orders. 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. are going to be quieter times. This is going to be pretty much New York alone and it's going to be pretty much Japan alone. And that was one thought. And I don't think that's, that, that's, um, that's invalid, but I think more to the point was how price retested levels. Here's a lovely supply level here, a strong push down. At 10 a.m., price pushes into it, but not above it, just into it, and then turns down. Does it create a three to one move? No. Does it have stuff in the way of it? Yes. But still, the test was nice, respectful test of the supply level. The 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. test of their subsequent levels were less good. The reason being is the 10 a.m. level from this high here gets pushed above at 6 p.m. So it pushes above it and then turns down and it's not very convincing. And then from the 6 p.m. level, price again does the same thing, it pushes above it and it makes the shorts far less likely. However, at 8 a.m., the 8 a.m. pushes up into this 2 a.m. level, but not above it, just into it. And that creates a lovely, strong move down. Now, I don't know if I'm into, onto something or not here, um, but I am thinking that um, the way in which a level is tested um, goes some way to how likely or strong a trade you're going to get. So... If a level is tested and respected, like it was at 10 a.m. and 8 a.m., the likelihood of a push down and or up if you're in demand at demand level is more likely. However, if a level is tested and broken, like at 6 p.m. and 2 a.m., the moves are less likely to work out. Um, I think that's all I've got to say at the moment on this. There was a little bit of issue with this. I identified the nearest level of supply and the nearest level of demand, which would have been here at the 8 a.m. time. This wouldn't have been here clearly because that was that's only just been created. And I was one worried about shorting directly into this demand level which offered less than three to one but this seems to have appeared to have been an invalid worry and my guess on this is because the trend is down so I should only really be worrying about longer term levels of supply and demand and there was easily three to one off this trading into the either this daily charcoal level and this blue h4 supply level, demand level, pardon me. So in summary, taking trades off levels that are tested and respected are better trades than trades which off levels which are tested and broken and 
I don't have to worry too much about the there being near supply or demand provided I'm trading with the trend and that I'm really worried I would keep in mind that what I'm really worried about is trading into long term longer term needs to be a three to one to the longer term supply or demand level so if I'm on a 30 minute there needs to be a three to one to the H4 or daily supply level demand level pardon me um, I hope that makes sense and I will um, call it a day there.